Good morning ladies and gents, and welcome to Baking with Scrum. To celebrate the release of my new song, So Be It, on a state of sugar biscuit, and because Anzac Day is pretty close, why not make Anzac biscuits? What are Anzac biscuits? Basically, it's an Australian treat invented from way back in the day. Anzac stands for Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. So I figured it would be fun to make so I could teach you a little bit about Australian tradition and how to celebrate Anzac Day the proper way. Just think of this as the Australian way of celebrating an album release. So here are all the ingredients you need. White sugar, plain flour, rolled oats, and our whole grain too. Desiccated coconut. Oh, that's actually really solid. 13th of April 2021, so we still have a month left as of today, so we can still use this. And over here on this side, we've got 250 grams of butter, some baking soda, and a West Swan natural honey. Usually when you're making these biscuits, you have to use syrup, but the best I could find was this Bundaberg sugar, which I don't even know really is, and organic maple syrup. So we'll just use honey instead. Who cares if it's too thick or not? Anzac biscuits always come out thick, so what gives? So what we're going to do for this dish is mix all the dry ingredients together and put in the liquid ingredients with this after we're done mixing those together. So let's get started. And I've got a sp oh, wait. And we've got us a spoon to mix all the ingredients in. So there's a specific recipe that says 20 servings. Now even though this is usually for 20 servings, I kind of wanted to make enough Anzac biscuits for everyone on the album. So therefore, we're going to make the batter and try our best to make 55 servings. So first and foremost, you gotta wash your hands. So I'm gonna show you a good method to wash your hands and also save water. So you just make a little cup in your hands with the soap, put some water inside it, and you wash it with the palms of your hands. Get the outsides, get them between the fingers, use your knuckles to apply it across the palms. Do the same thing with the backs of your fingers. Go like this, because this is important somehow. Make sure to get the fingernails too. Then once everything's rinsed, you just go like this and go, do a little bit of water to rinse off that. Do another little bit of water to rinse off the other side. And there you go. All right, now let's get started. So we're gonna need one cup of the rolled oats, one cup of the flour, one cup of white sugar, Ooh. then a half cup of the coconut. So it's important to get as much coconut as you need. Then you just mix everything together. Now this is the shredded coconut, kind of like the coconut they use on lamingtons. Actually, that's another Australian treat. See that masterpiece right there? That right there is a lamington. Actually, that should be another ASOS album. So Violin Melody, if you're watching this, do Australia proud and make ASOS lamington. So our dry ingredients look perfectly mixed together. Let's move on to the liquid. Okay, so it says 125 grams of butter on the recipe, so, so that'll be about roughly half that amount. Oh, it doesn't. This does not work. Let's see if this one works. Yep, yeah, it works. Oh, that says 253 grams. Okay, we're gonna have to do some serious measurements here. So I think I'm just gonna go halfway there. 129. 7, 124, 125. We're just going to... That looks like it's all into cubes. We need two tablespoons of the golden syrup, but we're just gonna use honey. I don't have a tablespoon. I only have a half tablespoon here, so we're gonna have to use four of those. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now we need one tablespoon of boiling water. I'm not sure why it has to be boiling, but just use normal water. Whoops. That seems like a tablespoon. So now we're gonna get a wooden spoon. Yeah. So now we're gonna get a metal spoon and stir this on the stove. So here we go. Okay, now it's starting to look more like how we want it. So that's how it's supposed to look after you've melted the butter. All right, it looks like the butter cubes have completely melted. So then we need a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Look at that, it just started fizzing. I guess we just let it cook away a smidge more. Then we can mix this with the dry ingredients. Oh my, it is rising up like mad. All right, so it looks like we got our liquid mixture together. So now I guess what we do is mix this with the dry ingredients. So let's do it. There we go. You can see it's starting to look more like an Anzac biscuit now. Now remember, we want this into 55s. Okay, now the mixing of the two mixtures begins. You really see it starting to mix well. 
I think I just got some coconut in the batter. But hey, there was coconut in the batter before. Okay, so our batter looks nice and mixed. So now what I guess we'll do is roll these out onto a tray and see if we can make 55 biscuits. So let's do it. Okay, so we actually don't need the ingredients or the cups and flowers anymore so we can put them away. However, we do need this. Anyway, our batter looks ready to be served. There we go. Now this is the important part. Make sure you have washed your hands previously because now what we're gonna do is roll these up and place them firmly, like so. Okay, so as you can see, I underestimated the total by quite a bit. So I counted 36 on here and we need 55. So that's roughly about half the amount I needed. So let's just take some of these and make them smaller. Okay, so now there's 45, so we still have to split them all. There we go, that's 55. Now let's wipe these bad boys in the oven. So you can leave these out as a ball as you like if you want them to be flat and squishy. There we go. Now we just leave it for about 20 minutes. All right, so it's been 10 minutes, and let's check how they look. Oh, some of them are touching each other. That's okay, they can tear off when they're done. Okay guys, it has been roughly 20 minutes, and it looks like the Anzac biscuits are ready. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's an entire tray full of oat goodness. I don't know about you, but those certainly look like Anzac biscuits to me. Oh. Oh. Okay, so while I was letting them sit on the cooling rack, I realized that they were sticking. So I thought I'd better separate them now before they get too stuck. So some of them are crispy and some of them are squishy, which is okay because it's personal preference whether you want to make them crispy or squishy. But it's good that we have both so people have choices. There we go. And there you guys have it. That is how you make some wonderful, scrumptious Anzac Bickies. These go out to all the ASOS Biscuit artists who have participated. You guys earned these. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully this inspired you to make these yourself, because one, they're absolutely delicious, two, they're easy to make, and three, you know, you just gotta pay respect sometimes. F. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, support, so be it, on ASOS Biscuit, and I'll see you guys later. Uh.